assembling of a slatted rack and I have made a previous video but I don't know that I did that good a job of showing you the various measurements so here you can see the pieces just uh, dry fit it apart to show you what the different measurements are and <clears throat> here is the front edge this, this is the front edge these are the side pieces there's the back. The back and the front are actually identical. There's a shelf part, and then you have 10 racks. I'll show you those. So the height here, I use I use two and a quarter inches. And there is a dado here for the side uh, for the side rails, and then there's a dado here that holds the shelf. And then this dado here fits the rail or the rack and it fits in just like that so this end of the rack is squared this end of the rack has a, a, a tenant on it so it just fits in there like that and I'll take it up I will take it apart and show you there are plans for this on the internet and this space here is um, I think the plans call for three sixteenths. I have done it at a quarter inch, just uh, so I think somewhere between three sixteenths and a quarter inch is fine. But but the the main point here, but whatever this measurement here is, it needs to be the same for both the front and the back, and then you'll also be uh, cutting out a dado. For the shelf to fit in on the side piece and that height needs to be the same. So if we take this apart without it falling too badly apart, we'll see you can see here that I've got I have a jig that I've made to kind of hold this square. I use this for making boxes and uh, anything that I really need to be made so square. We have seen the front and the back, they are identical. Two and a quarter in two and a quarter inches this way, sixteen and a quarter inches long, and a standard three uh, quarter inch uh, uh, shelving board. The dados here are, uh, of course, they're three quarter inches from here to here to hold to receive the shelf this dado here will receive the shelf like that and I have found after a couple of experiments this this dado depth is three-eighths of an inch I've found that it really works better if you just make this all of the uh, dado depths a quarter of an inch instead of a three-eighths of an inch. Not only is this dado a quarter of an inch deep, this dado will be a quarter of an inch deep, although it will be a three-quarter inch wide to fit the width of your rail. So now we, we've got the shelf, the side piece, the end. The shelf is uh, 15 and a quarter inches long four and an eighth inches wide and then you will also need to make a receiving dado here and this uh, this dado needs to be deep enough for your tenons to go in and you want this distance here and you want this and you want this distance here to be the same as this distance here so that when you set this in place there's very little uh, elevation difference between your plat your between your shelf and your and your rack Your racks are three quarter inches by three quarter inches by fifteen 
and a quarter inches long. And I've found that this height would be uh, three sixteenths of an inch. This is three sixteenths of an inch, uh, which leaves this height three eighths of an inch, which would make your dado here three eighths of an inch wide. And then, of course, the depth to match. I've got this dado a little deeper than it really needs to be. So this distance here. And the, dis and the depth of your dado should be 7 sixteenths of an inch. Now your side pieces are interesting. They are 19 inches long. They're 19 inches if the dado on your front and back piece is a quarter of an inch instead of 3 eighths of an inch. So it's 19 inches long, and this height here needs to be the same as this height here, which I use a quarter of an inch. And then, then your the width of your dado is the width of your shelving board, which is which is three quarters of an inch, so that that would fit in there like that. and still a quarter of an inch deep. Now what you're going to find is you're going to have one like this and then you will need a mirror image of this. And the best way that I have found to do that is is cut one out, uh, set up your fence so that it's uh, a quarter of an inch deep and then cut your dado out. And then I would match up your piece that's your side rail that's going to be the mirror image I would match it up and then I would make a mark here and here so that I could test it and then I would um, then your fence would have to be set at this distance here so that's what you that's what you want to accomplish is that you have a mirror image of that. So, once you get those pieces cut out, it's just a matter of putting them all together. So it's a, it's actually a total of 15 pieces, 10 racks, 15 and a quarter inches long, three quarter by three quarter, and then uh, cut out your tenon here so that it would fit into the dado. 10 racks, one shelf, 15 and a quarter by 4 and an eighth. The, the front and the back, which actually are identical. And then uh, your two side rails, which don't get confused and make them identical. They are actually mirror images of, the, of each other. All right, let's let's uh, let's put it together and see how it goes. I've got the end caps situated in. I've got the end, the back end stapled in. I've made sure it's square. And then I've re, uh, or verified my position of all of the bars so that they are um, the width of a frame. And also so now we have one rack, one slatted rack. There you have it, completed. One slatted rack.